no one lights a lamp and puts it under a bushel basket. How silly, how foolish, how dumb. But you put it on a, and it gives light to the entire I'm Sarah Jane Carpenter, and I sing on Hope College's worship team. Sarah's personality is definitely bubbly, if I could use one word. Um, she is someone who just is always full of energy and full of loving others, and that's um, two huge things that really um, makes her who she is. <laughs> Day of the life. <laughs> She's sweet and bubbly and funny, a little bit of an oddball sometimes, but just a really good person. Uh, well, Sarah is really like bubbly and sincere. Um, she, I would say, like her happiness is like really genuine, and like that is like one of the most unique things about her. Like when I first met her, um, I was kind of confused. I like wasn't sure whether she was real or not, but she totally is. So, yeah, real and happy. So I auditioned for the chapel band my uh, the second semester of my freshman year and officially started singing with them and joined them on, um, or yeah, the beginning of my sophomore year. Songs are, right? Without, without the whole set. But if you want to have the set to really get into it, then, I mean, I would love for you to play the set. Okay, then let's do I mean, that. but. Can we circle up first before we do it, or can we? No, you guys can go ahead. You guys go ahead. Remember how anything, like the order of anything. Do I have this one? Who knows? What is this? Is this yours? What? No, that's Trump. No. I would say the time commitment for our worship team is somewhere between. I would say about maybe ten hours a week. Um, we usually have one or two chapels a week. Um, a gathering rehearsal every other week and then the gathering and the gathering we usually get there around like 4 30 and then we're there till well after 10 with after worship so the Sundays are definitely the longest days um, but the rest of it is just like a couple hours usually I have a permanent alarm set for I think it's like 6 34 or something like that I brush my teeth and wash my face stay in my pajamas and leave the house and get there as close to seven as I can. Oh, oh Jimmy. You're what? I'm a little late. <laughs> it is 6.59. Rehearsal starts at 7. So there's that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there pretty soon. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I'm gonna do my thing. Oh, hello, car. <laughs> oh, there's Jake and uh, Chip. <laughs> I know she's so Yay, yay, yay. I'm just gonna walk straight through. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Sid. <laughs>
<laughs> I was very involved in my church growing up. I, um, I did youth group ever since, well, yeah, I did Sunday school when I was in elementary school, and then I did uh, youth group in middle school and in high school, and um, I led worship a lot when I was in middle school and high school, and even now when I go home, and that probably has helped me a lot with worship team as well, um, to have experience with that and to be familiar with that kind of um, music and what that entails. So in high school, I participated in a, um, well, I participated in choir all four years, in our high school musical all four years. So my freshman year in high school, I was in White Christmas. I don't know why they picked that, but there's a few that I don't really understand why they picked, but we did White Christmas. Then I was in The Wedding Singer, which was also kind of strange, but it was, it was a lot more fun than meets the eye. <laughs> Thoroughly Modern Millie, and then my senior year I was in Avenue Q. I think they definitely helped give me confidence to an extent and definitely helped um, develop um, like my singing and um, just, I guess, being on stage and being used to that. Um, but at the same time, worship and like leading worship is obviously very different than like performing for an audience. Um, so in that regard, it's different, but it definitely, I would say, has helped um, like shape my love for music. So um, being on the worship team has given me um, some of my most meaningful friendships I've had not only at Hope but in my life. Um, both last year and this year I've worked with some really, really incredible people that I don't think I would have known outside of the worship team. I don't think our paths would have crossed and um, it's cool that God knew exactly what he was doing when he put us all on the same team so that we can build these lifelong friendships and just be so close. Um, Park Harold oh. in God with us. It's funny because I think when I was coming on to the worship team, at least last, yeah, like sophomore year, um, I thought that it was going to be an added thing of stress, like, oh, here's another thing on my plate that I have to, you know, work into my schedule and into my life. But um, it's kind of the opposite. Like, it's one of those things that I'm like, oh, like worship team, like, we're just going to sing and pray and just be together with my friends and it's just kind of a load off like even if I got you know three or four hours of sleep it was still like I was excited to wake up so I could do that with other people. I don't think that the worship team has impacted my grades too much at least in a negative way. Um, no I mean I I take like school pretty seriously and um, there's still time like if we're in between songs or before we eat dinner or something on Sundays we like all do our homework together that kind of stuff so it hasn't really negatively impacted my grades at all. <sighs> I think honestly the best part of worship team the people I just like sincerely love 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 the people on um, both teams and the teams last year and the teams this year and they just have helped grown parts of me that I didn't even know about and just helped shape me into um, the person that God wants me to be and they've just been an incredible, incredible support system. And to tag along with that, I love worshiping Jesus with them and getting to sing because I don't really get to sing in any other aspects of hope and so without worship team I would be like really missing that I think a lot. So um 
Yeah, the people though, number one for sure. <laughs> we just pray that you fill our hearts, God, with your spirit and that your presence may just invade this place in our hearts. May the Holy Spirit govern our actions and our words and our thoughts and our deeds and um, that we may just give a fraction of your glory back to you. We love you so much, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. I definitely think that being on the worship team has completely strengthened my relationship with the Lord because being able to worship um, multiple times a week has helped so much and just being in a community of other believers who want to help you grow and um, just be there for you and want to pray for you and like really get down to the nitty gritty of like how your soul is doing um, has helped me tremendously I think in that regard. I'm sad that we only have a year and a half left <laughs> but um, at the same time I'm really blessed to have had three years um, by the time it's over. And I think it's just going to keep going really well. We have a lot of, every year, new people, or old people leave and new people come in. So it's always a different, like, dynamic. But um, it's always so good. God's always so faithful with it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the next year and a half brings. Will your grace run